Yo, yo. I, um, never make videos this late. It's 8.39, and I have no idea what I'm going to say. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is one of the times I just turned on the camera, and I have not scripted anything, but something told me to turn on the camera. I can't tell you what. I don't even know what. But the camera just said, turn on <laughs> it said turn me on and record yourself so that's what i'm doing so let's just fucking talk about something random and see what comes up because i feel like this is gonna be massive let's talk about the definition of star of stuttering stuttering good stuttering bad all right just this comes to me right now what my clients what the main 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 goal usually of my clients are is yes all, all along the lines of caring less about what other people think yes along the lines of yeah i'll person personally develop but i also hope my stutter improves as well um but majorly all that shit encapsulates they want to change stuttering from equaling bad to stuttering at least neutral or stuttering good. Because that changes everything. Once you no longer see stuttering as something that you have to avoid, once you no longer see it as bad, you will no longer then I view it as something that you want to avoid. Because think about all the bad shit in your life right now. All right. Think about it all. Let it all come to your mind. What what do you feel what do you feel is bad in your life? Think about it. It might be a thought. It might be a person. It might be an item. It might be a friend. What do you think is bad? In your life. It might be a situation. What's your. Now. What's your. Auto, what's your automatic response to it. Do you want to go invited in. Do you want to say. Hi bad thing. I've missed you so much. Come here. No your first reaction. Is to push it away. It's bad. I don't want it. And what you label as bad is your negative emotions your negative emotions the emotions you feel is what you dictate as good or bad right so if stuttering is bad it means it's giving you negative emotions but it's your doing that you label these emotions as bad as neg as negative that's your own doing no person no there's no overarching thing in the sky stone built in the sky that says this type of, of a this type of energy is bad inside of you this type of energy is is not going to serve you this type of energy you need to avoid at all costs the anxiety that's just an energy the embarrassment that's just an energy. The shame. That's just an energy inside of you. All right. It's our own label to it that we view it as bad and something we want to avoid. Those things carry a lot of energy. They carry a lot of tension inside of them. Those emotions. And since we view this as bad. That means we're, we're going to resist them. And that means this tension that we are resisting only gets pushed down inside of us. What we, re what we resist persists, always. All those emotions just get trapped. Embarrassment, shame, doubt, frustration, anger, sadness. All those things we view as, ne as, ne as negative get pushed down, trapped. And now you have a body full of tension and now this tension 
all fucking caught in your chest and your abdomen and your neck. Makes you feel all tight. Legitimately suff suffocates the true you. The true you isn't there. Any thought has to be processed through this this tension that you're feeling right now any outcome you see any any perspective you have in life is filtered through the emotions you feel the mind follows the body and the body follows the mind so if you are holding on to all these negative emotions you view as bad you are legitimately storing this energy inside of you and that means the outside world you are seeing is you're seeing it through your own lens of the shit you're already feeling. So for one, you're going to attract other like-minded outcomes. So it's going to be a lot harder to see progress. And the people you're going to attract in your life are not positive ones. They're negative ones. And just knowing that, just knowing that that kind of science behind it that you chose you ch you chose to see that as negative and since we see it as negative and not just the energy that we need to feel that oh my god yes this sucks right now this shame that i feel it sucks right now but i know the only way for it to process in me is for me to actually fucking feel it so i'm gonna sit here with it feel the energy let it pass. I'm not going to resist it. And the first thing I did to not resist it is I took the fucking label off of it being bad. And then once the labels off of these emotions of bad, bad, bad are now neutral, they're just neutral emotions. They're just, they're just what you feel your body's response to a certain fucking outcome or situation or perspective. That's just your body's response. It's you that's saying this is bad. This is good. It's all that you need to feel. And you know why you need to feel it? Is be yeah, you know why you need to feel it? Is because you're actually feeling it right now. If you weren't feeling it right now, you wouldn't need to feel it. Let me kind of make sense of that. If you didn't need to feel this pain right now, you would not be feeling it. Meaning that you yourself in your progression to self-development or your progression to unpeeling the onion of the doubts and the shit you're holding on to you would not be shown with these emotions you would not be feeling these shitty emotions right now these shitty emotions right right now because you're only shown events you you're only your perspective is only ever is only ever showing you ways test testing you in ways of of allowing you to realize you are yet not free you're yet not free of the the tension you hold with this certain of you with this certain e with this certain event with this certain situation if you get triggered if you if your negative you you e emotions rise and you get triggered that is just showing you yo <laughs> you are holding on to something here you be because you only really get triggered like actually triggered is when you have so much built up held inside nay nay negative emotions carrying negative energy causing you to have a lens that easily gets triggered because it's not just annoying in this present moment right now it's annoying times a thousand other times you were annoyed and you didn't let go of those times you viewed it as bad you pushed it down so now this lady that you were talking to does not get hey that's kind of annoying can you stop that no she gets you fucking bitch <laughs> You, she she gets the the you that is triggered that that little annoying pops right on top of all the other annoyings and times you've been annoyed like that and boom you just unleash it on 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 her so those emotions you're feeling are 
in some way of you getting triggered of old past experiences that you viewed as bad once. So now you view the outcomes of your life now as bad because they felt bad one time, if that makes sense. Um, so at some level, you're always getting triggered. And life is, if you're feeling negative emotions right now, you need to feel them because you're yet not free in that area. And that is the game of life. That is the game of life. <laughs> There's just const, not, not constant pro progression in the way of like every second I need to be doing something. But just doing your fucking part on this earth, like you, dev you developing as a con as a consciousness, you developing as a person in in different ways, in social, um, like talking to people, in conversations, in learning body language, in just develop yourself so you can share more love with the world. This is what that's what I that's what I think life's about is just developing yourself enough. Oh, like not enough. Just the constant development of yourself and being able to share more and more value with the world as you go up. That is where I just, that's where all my joy is, is learn, is learning more shit so I can share it and help more people. Realizing more shit so I can help more people by helping myself realize it. I, I find that's all really what life's about. <laughs> Uh, that went from a weird, from a deep topic to another deep topic, but I we started this with me saying my clients, that's that's what they want, right? They they want to take that negative, that negative outlook they have of their stutter. And they want to transfer it to at least neutral. So you take all those labels off of, neg of negative and you let go of all those emotions caught inside of you. So that when you enter new situations, things aren't going to trigger you. Things aren't going to make you anxious. Things aren't going to embarrass you like they used to, and you start to develop a new way of being. You start to develop a new way of thinking, a new way of feeling, because you're not holding on to all this shit. So one conversation you might have viewed as, fuck, that was embarrassing, or fuck, like, why am I so anxious right now? I can't talk, it's so frustrating, I, I got so embarrassed. A situation like that, because you're holding on to so much shit, you can switch that kind of sit, that kind of sit, that kind of situation, into like man that wasn't so bad like i stuttered and that sucked at times but like i said everything i want i wanted to say and i feel pretty good about that yeah you kind of still feel like shit but developing that new way of being from that state of fuck my stutter's not that bad like there's there's worse things in life and I've seen this with every severity of stutter, with very minimal stutter, less than me, just at once every thousand words, but that one time destructs them, destroys them to very severe people who stutter. Just go, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Like I just take a, li a little bit longer to speak. And when you hit that, you have won. Because now you've taken the negative emotions off of these, off of these, um, the negative labels off of these emotions. And now you're able to speak more freely and you're not going to get triggered. You're not going to get anxious like you used to. And you start to just, that's the base level of, of that uh, way of being. But then you can go deeper and deeper and deeper from that point of saying like, fuck my stutter allows me to have connection like if you see my videos on connection it takes vulnerability the the ultimate vulnerability is your stutter so like fuck i get to show this shit off it's my true vulnerability how amazing is that 
and you can go even deeper and deeper and deeper into the self-love with your stutter. That's the main overarching thing always is change my relationship with my stutter from bad to at least neutral and then I can manage it from there because once it's not bad anymore you don't need to re you don't need to resist it you don't need to put energy in saying bad 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 stay away from me you're the boogie monster it's like all right I'm cool with it and it will just slowly start to pop out of your mind the constant thoughts will just dissolve and dissolve and dissolve and dissolve as your self-esteem grows and your anxiety goes down and yeah that's just yeah i i wasn't even planning to make this video just the camera said turn on turn me on right now so that's what i did and man that was fucking deep that was that was good if you guys want to learn more learn more if you guys want to learn learn more about my ways of thinking or uh, just anything you want to ask me questions and you want to see if even if you want to be a good fit for the program if you've been thinking about trying to overcome your stutter for a while now and you're thinking 2021 has to be better <laughs> has to be better than 2020 if it's not better than 2020, something's going wrong. Something is malfunctioning. And um, if you want to make your 2021 fucking amazing, the best Christmas present you, you can ever give is an investment in yourself. Said no one ever except for Chase Gillis. And um, yeah, I love you. No, no matter what, if you just want details, hit, hit me up on Instagram at CG Stutter. Or you can book for a free consultation down below in the description. But anyway, that was fucking cold. Peace.